Good YouTube, that was 92 here, back again once again today, people. Today, we're here for episode number 94 of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. It's been a few days since our last episode, things have been busy around here, but we're still bumming around post game, wrapping up uh, our latest adventure or the newest adventure through the Alola region. Uh, so, if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, we're going to show you support as a prime under the Happy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, do not forget, never forget, can nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking Nappy nation can god damn it now we have cleared out uh melee melee island akala island and ula ula island uh all we have left right now to go ahead and uh run around and peep uh what's left is pony island which doesn't have a lot and aether paradise so in today's episode that's what we have our sights set on and then i think in the next episode we'll begin our next hunt ho ho let's get a short team recap for you guys Dog, Rotom, shut up. Oh my god, I clicked on Rotom. He was in the middle of talking to me. Whenever, the well, last time I had my 3DS open, he was talking to me. And I kind of just closed my 3DS on. I feel really, really bad. Because, you know, today's Valentine's Day. But I kind of just closed my 3DS on Rotom, on the Roto Dex. And was like, alright, bro, do what you must. Uh, but up first, we have Bubble Buddy, our Raccoonid. Uh, level 72, Bradshaw, the man of the squad, our Incineroar 71, Shukaku, our Palosan, level 71, Redacted, my boy, our Big Steel Button, our Duskmane Necrozma at 73, Anita, our Komala at 67, and last but not least, we have Yolanda at 69. Yeah. Somebody left a comment on the last episode saying they were tired of seeing the Big Steel Button, and it's like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what, oh, dog, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to just stop you? We're 94 episodes in. We have maybe eight episodes left at that. You mean just stop? What? Anyways, let me go ahead and hop on the back of our Charizer. And I'm actually intrigued to see if this battle is still in this game. If you guys remember in Sun and Moon, there is a tourist from the Kanto region, I think. And he had a special Pokemon in this Pokemon Center. Um, I don't know if he's still going to be here or not because we took on the veteran. I don't think Homeboy is still here. Oh, wait. He might still be here. Excellent! Since you're here, let me show you something. He is still here. Now, you see, I was concerned on whether or not he was going to be here because, if you guys remember the last episode, we took on the strongest trainer in Alola, and he said that you had to battle everyone else in the region first, or all the other trainers in the region. Maybe this guy doesn't count because he's a tourist, but my boy has a shiny Execute. And it's like, hey, wait a second. Execute, you bitch looking cute. <laughs> let me slide through here and body this dude real quick. My nigga has a shiny execute, and he's actually about to get the yolk sucked up out of him. Yum. Nigga, yum. Yum, nigga, yum. And, yo, fun fact, that's actually the only fucking thing we have to do on Pony Island. Because everything else is post-game Pony Island we've already done. Like, all the stuff in the uh, Pony Wilds and the Battle Resort, he said golden. All that stuff's already done. So there's nothing more we can do there. Whoop de frickin' do. Shiny Execute, Golden Shining Execute. All six of them glitter so excellent excellently. I love to share one with you, but even though they're they look like six execute, they're just one. But if I can't give you one of my shiny gold execute, these should be close enough. Lady fucking titty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another one. How many execute uh, how many eggs are in execute? Five or six? You're gonna give me six? Oh shit. Does he actually give you the same? My boy. My boy. Never mind, it was worth sliding through here. That's six, right? Jesus Christ, dog. I've heard that executing a little evolve with some kind of stone, but I'm afraid that nuggets don't ever evolve into big nuggets no matter what you do. Dog, hold up, wrote him. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Dog, stop talking. I know I have Roto Bargain Powers, but right now, it would be too bomb and too perfect if you just drop me some Roto, some Roto Bargain Powers. I don't think that's Roto Bargain. Roto Prize Money. That's not bad either. That has to do with money. But I'm actually going to 100% pop a Roto Bargain. 
and sell this shit. I got 13 of these bitches. This nigga just stays giving you roto powers. Like, you'd think he would, like, he, he can track everything else you do, but he can't track your inventory and your bag? That don't even make no sense. Dog, I need you to give me all the monies for this. All the monies for this, dog. That's our medicine bag. Yo, how much are you give me for that bottle cap? That's it, dog? I thought bottle caps were, like, big shit. That's all you're gonna give me? I can't sell a Master Ball? Oh, that just, that just doesn't even fucking sound right, dog. Six nuggets. Yeah, so there's six eggs. 30 G's. A clean 30 G's for some nuggets, dog. If that ain't baller as fuck, I don't know what the fuck is. Yo. Okay, so actually, I kind of fibbed. I kind of fibbed just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny tad bit. I said that we were done with Ula Ula Island, but we're not. We're not done with Ula Ula Island. Actually, you know what I need to do? I want to double check this real quick before I waste any time. Before I waste any time, I want to double check this because and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm fucking up right now. I'm fucking up right now. But I wanted to double check this because if I'm not wait, what the fuck? Uh, because if I don't check this, then I'm afraid that I'm actually just gonna end up wasting time. Uh, having to go and find and figure out what the hell I need to do next and I don't really want to do that so let me double check real quick and make sure actually I don't even know if I can I don't even know if I can if they even mention it so we might just have to uh, up and just see what the hell happens I could spend another five minutes looking for that but I don't want to do all that okay so I think what you need to do if I remember correctly from our original run through, I think you need to go here in the reverse world. So that's what I was trying to look up is I don't remember if you can just go here and show up or not. I think you might have to go through the re through the portal into the reverse world and then slide through. Hold up. Wait, they're here? I see, yes, I understand now, so this is the Lake of the Moon, it is truly most fascinating, it seems that this place brushes up against another world much like Alola in many ways. Dulce, would you stop getting ahead of yourself? I want to go on my own island challenge here in Alola already, do you think I could get an island challenge amulet of my own if I moved to Alola to stay? Yo, I did not know that they were just chilling here, holy shit. This place may have fallen to ruin, but it's still spectacular, wouldn't you say, even there's nothing to see here now. I can't help thinking that there being nothing here. Something wondrous. Okay, so that's dope. That's dope uh, story that they're here just chilling, but I'm pretty sure that we need to come, we need to go through the portal to the reverse world at the altar of the sun and then come here to the lake of the moon. Pretty sure that's what we need to do. So this is what I was referencing when I said that I didn't want to waste the time. Hey, would you rather me travel through here and see what's going to go down? Or, would you rather me sit and look it up in the guide? Hmm. It's just such a long walkway, like, dog. We get it. You're, you're big shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to. Okay. Alright. We're doing the damn thing. So, we actually are in... We actually are 100%. Needing to go back to Pony Island. So, technically, we didn't lie. Technically, we didn't lie. We do have to go back to Pony Island. Hey. Would you like to weep, leap into the war, a warp hole? Hey, wait. This is not what I wanted. How are you supposed to do this, then? Because this is going to be the warp hole, and it's going to take me to, like... Return to the ultra wormhole. I don't know what the fuck this means. We're, we're figuring shit out today. We're figuring shit out today. With Ultra Ride. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! I don't wanna do all this! Not yet! No! Doug, you got way too much text, Doug. You got way too much text. They need to make a scroll so you can just scroll and figure it out. Still, getting a ride on my boy Sokaleo is way too dope, dog. That's way too dope. But this is not what I wanted to do. 
We're dodging them all. We're dodging them all. We're not making it to any universe. Any galaxy. I want you to know this is so much easier when you aren't using gyro controls. It is so unbelievably easier. Why anyone at Game Freak would think, yes, let's put fucking... You're an idiot, Doug. Whoever thought to put fucking gyro controls on this, you're actually stupid. Like, you're actually stupid. It's, it's such a stupid concept. It's such a stupid idea. I don't even know where the fuck we went to. 666 light years away from where we were. A powerful presence is coming from the sky. Did we actually just run into Ho-Oh? Hold on, I need a soft reset. Make sure it's shiny, dog. What the fuck? I was not trying to do this at all. I was just trying to figure out how to get to the... Dog. Dog. First off, the music is dope. But I don't give a shit. I'm figuring this out, dog. If we can run into a fucking ho-oh, dog, I, I don't even know what to say, dog. I don't even know what to fucking say. This is not what I was trying to do. This is not what I... It was 100% not what I actually wanted to do. Dog, after becoming champion... Show me the way. Cause I just I just want yo, I just want my cosmog, Doug. That's what I came here for, and I got a fucking ho oh. -oh. This is it's, I didn't sign up for this, Doug. I really 100 percent did not sign up for this. Where is it at, Doug? Zygarde's full potential? No. Nope. Nope. None of this is what I'm looking for. None of this is what I'm looking for at all. Here we go. Okay, so huge mulligan, huge mulligan, it has to be nighttime. Alright, that's why it didn't work for us. So when it comes to this nigga right here, whoa, let's not. I mean, I guess I can try and catch it for what it's worth. Uh, this is really not what I was trying to do, but hey, we're here now. Did you guys notice my new mug? It's a little ninja. It's a little ninja. And it says, trust me, I'm a ninja on the back. Oh shit, we just bodied that thing. Can you come back and find ho? -Oh? I don't know why. I don't know why I thought liquidation was going to I for some reason I in my head I thought the ho-oh was a higher level than me. Can you encounter them as many times as you want? Or did I just fuck it up for the rest of this 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 game's lifetime? Cause I really kind of did just body that ho -Oh with no remorse. I mean, that was dope. I wasn't expecting to run into a ho -Oh. Uh That gives me a lot of hope. <laughs> hope. That gives me a lot of hope uh, regarding our Ultra Beast hunt. Cause we are gonna go and snag these Ultra Beasts, but I'm not. I'm not hunting all these goddamn legends, Doug. Okay, so we need to make it nighttime. That's where we're slipping up at. That's where we're slipping up at. So take me back. And we're gonna make it nighttime. Okay, so like that, we have spun the world, and uh, it is now nighttime. And uh, the only other thing I'm concerned about right now is that they may not let us do this, or we might not be able to do it because we have Duskmane Necrozma and not Solgaleo, which I think would be kind of stupid that I have to split my Solgaleo for this. Go to the reverse world. There we go. So if you're playing Ultra Moon, you can do this during the daytime. But since you're playing Ultra Sun, you have to do it during the nighttime so that in turn it can flip and take you to Ultra Moon and it's now daytime. Alter the moon. Ha ha ha. Now what if I were to just play my entire game in here from here on out? Would I have to fight all the trainers all over again? Okay, so now we can head to the Lake of the Sun. Ha ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha ha! I swear to God, if I have to have just Solgaleo and not Duskmane Necrozma, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna actually cry. I'm gonna shed tears, and I'm gonna cry. In this world, in this universe, in this timeline, yo, they're not there. Which call it's not there. Dulcin, Dulcin Pulse, Dulcin Zasi, whatever their names are, they're not there. What the frick's going on, dude? 
What the actual frick is going on, dude? Swerve, 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 swerve. Uh, I think it, even if even if we need just regular Soul Glaive, I think if I split them, I can send Necrozma to the PC. Survey says you sense some kind of presence. Okay, so I sense the fucking presence, dog. This is all right. Where's my item at, Doug? Where is it at? And Lunarizer. And Solarizer. So if I use this item on Redacted, you have no room to set. Oh my! Oh. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you actually doing this to me? How many times can we run down the hallway in the Lake of the Sun? How many freaking times can we do it? You know, I just wanted to do something simple, easy, fun. No, we can't. We can't do something easy, simple, and fun. No, it has to be the most convoluted, as backwards way possible. I mean, I guess, to be fair, they are giving you an entirely new legendary Pokemon. So it, should, it shouldn't necessarily be the easiest way to go about it. So if I go in my bag, and I end solarize this on redacted. My boy is now split. Are they both level 73? No. Sogla is only 62. So we were only training the Necrozma just now? I mean, technically it was Dusk main Necrozma. Huh. Okay, so what you can learn from my mulligans is the exact way on how to get your Cosmog. So if you are in Ultra Sun, you must take a Duskmane Necrozma, or a Sogalea, or a Lunala, to your altar on Pony Island, whatever your altar, well if you're in Ultra Sun, it's the altar of the moon. I mean, it's the altar, it's the altar of the sun in Ultra Sun. And you go to Reverse World, it has to be at nighttime. If you're in Ultra Moon, you can take your legend there during the day. Easy. Now you have to have said legend, either Soglay on Ultra Sun or Lunala on Ultra Moon, not Duskmane Necrozma, not Dawn Wings Necrozma. No, it has to be Soglay or Lunala. And then slide back here, and will you finally. Yes! Yes! Look at my boy. Soglay will suddenly roar towards the sky. La Leona! Oh shit, Ducka! Another Pokemon appeared from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Cosmog! No, that was a Lunala. I just saw a Lunala. Why, why the hell it turned into a goddamn Cosmog? Would you like to take Cosmog with you? Absolutely. fucking lutely Pew, pew. So, I've never actually taken the time to evolve this Cosmog, but does anyone know if you evolve this Cosmog, will it 100% turn into uh, the opposite legend? Will it? Or does, does it determine the time of day? Yo, that's something we could actually look up right now. That's something we could look up right the fuck now. It evolves into either Sogle or Lunala starting at level 53, depending on what game it evolves in. So even if I'm in the reverse world, it'll still evolve into a second Sogaleo? Interesting. Even though it's helpless, Gash's body can be blown away by the slightest breeze. It doesn't seem to care. Dog, I'm naming this thing Fart Noises. I'm naming this thing Fart Noises. Did you guys think that I was gonna like spell out the fart noise? You can't use the word fart? That's so stupid. You can't name a Pokemon fart. Well, you learn something new every day. Will, will you let this slide? That slides! But if you have fart noises individually, it doesn't slide. That's so stupid. This whole episode is, you obtain the Lunalium Z that Cosmog was holding. Ha! Huh. So we got our Lunalium Z as well. Look at fart noises is level 5. <laughs> what the fuck? It's unaware. It's adamant nature. Ooh, I wouldn't mind having me an adamant Solgaleo, dog. God damn. Okay, so now let's undo everything we did. Now that we have this boyo in our squad, 
Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Yo, since I dropped off Anita and Yolanda at the PC in this world, will they stay here in this world? Forever and ever and ever? We'll never find them again? Go back to where you came from. Quick, before Trump catches us! And we are outy, Doug. Yeah. Back into the better world. Let me trigger all the Moon and Ultra Moon and Lunala fans. Sorry, I just like Sogaleo better. I don't know what you want. That's why I played through Sun last year and Ultra Sun this year. Because I gotta have my boy on the squad, dog. I have to represent. Okay, so let me... It, it really doesn't matter at this point. I can just fly to any Pokemon Center. Because we need to reconstruct things. We split things up. We add them on. Now let us reconstruct. Like a fucking ziggurat, dog. Alright. Up in this bitch we go. Watch me crank it, watch me roll. Now Superman that. I should have done that already, dog. Okay, so we can slide our little Cosmog. Smack dab right here. Our adamant Cosmog. In the party with the... Or in the box with the rest of our super dope awesome mons. And Solarizer. Yeah, and yeah. So now we have our boy Redacted back. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love it. I love it, 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 I love it. And we can get our girls back on the squad too. Because Bubble Buddy was feeling alone. Well, she had uh, Shukaku with her. Excellent. Alright, so now we got that taken care of. So now, I promise, that's everything from Pony and Ula Ula taken care of. Now we can finally head to Aether Paradise. Because there's a couple things that require require our attention here. <sighs> Talk about tiring, Doug. Talk about tiring. What an entire episode of Mulligans, Doug. This is what an entire episode of Mulligans looked like. This is why my username on Shutdown Sunday this past Sunday was subpar content. Because, hey, that's all I got to offer. Why, what? What is going on here? That's all I got to offer, Doug. Master Nappy, welcome back. Master Gladion left to travel Kanto and Johto so far away from here. Whoa! That's more plot for training? Yes, that's right. He went to defeat trainers like you, young Nappy, and Master Howe. He chose to go on a journey to train himself rather than take part in a Lola's Island challenge. If you do the same thing as everyone else, it is unlikely you will surpass them. I think Master Gladion must remember the tales I have told him of catching Pokemon in regions like Kanto, and I've been inspired to action. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably aren't interested in hearing about that sort of thing, are you? Here, please accept this. Thanks. Oh, and take another two. Double the mala salad, double the fun. Now, I'll be returning to the conservation area to look after the Pokemon. Cool. Homegirl is just balling out over here. Oh, hello. Well, I'm afraid that the little kerfuffle we went through resulted in my demotion. I'm turning over a new leaf and beginning over as one as one of the rank and file. When all is said and done, I feel like I've become a completely different person in mind and body. Could the new and improved Faba request a battle with you? Of course. Then here I come. The new and improved Faba makes his debut. The new and improved Faba. Sure. Sure, if you say so, Aether Foundation Faba. Oh, my boy has five mons. Wait a second. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for this. I didn't ask for all this, man. Calm down. Take your Pokemon back, bro. Take him back! Huh. Well, let's see how many of his mons we can Oko with just Bubble Buddy. You think this will help you live this liquidation? I should have Z-moved you. I should have 100% Z-moved you, Doug. Jesus Christ, he swallowed that. Oh, his defense fell. Lol. X defense my ass. Yuh. Pull up, Bubble Buddy. Pull up. Do what you must. I was this close to clicking the Z move too. If we didn't get the defense drop, I would have Z moved all over his bitch ass, dog. All over, dog. I like I would have liquidated everywhere. Alright, you. Oh no, we got a swap from this one, dog. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Is this the surfing right you? Is this the right you? The comment section has been demanding. That I go and get? Yeah. Yeah. Earth power, you bitch ass. You think this affects Shukaku? Ooh, I actually did a lot. Holy shit. Wait, time out. You're hurting me. 
You're hurting me! I have to hurt you right back! You yeah, didn't have to be so mean and rude. Little ass. Little asshole. A Bruxish. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. We can do this. Yeah. Here we go again. I actually really like that Faba has a Bruxish. I feel like Bruxish is a very forgotten, very forgettable Gen 7 Mon. And I actually kind of like Bruxish a lot. I like his color scheme. I like that it has uh, all the fang moves and whatnot. So, I, I don't know. It's a, it's a Mon I like. That's why we shiny hunted it like a year ago. And it took us a million encounters. Dog, you're doing way too much damage. And all that HP you just jacked from me? I, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? That's stab and super effective and you don't die? What's going on here, Doug? I think I said er, earlier in the Let's Play, if we hadn't used Araquanid, I was debating using Glissopod. And if we didn't use that, I probably would have used a Bruxish on the squad. How many of y'all would have actually liked to see had to actually would have liked to have seen a Bruxish on the squad instead? That is the question. So we can't kill a Bruxish. How many times can I say Bruxish? Bruxish with uh, a leech light, but can we kill his hypno? Oh. We just got outsped by a hypno. This is a timid nature hypno, dog. It's crazy. We just got outsped by a hypno. We have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. We have six legs and we just got outsped by a hypno. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to know what's going on here. Just got outsped by a hypno. Not only did he outspeed us, but he landed the hypnosis as well. So let's see, Bubble Buddy. How many, you, you wanna wake up now in, in leech life? There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. Almost, almost. We did more damage than the Bruxish. Things just aren't adding up, dog. Things just aren't adding up. Brux just being bulkier than... What? Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Turn one, wake up. Wake up right now, dog. All right, little buddy. You're sleeping on the job. I don't appreciate it, but you're sleeping on the job. What's going on, dog? What's going on, dog? You got nothing back for that. Holy shit. You know, for how convoluted the process is to Hypnosis Dream Eater, you actually didn't get dick in return for that. What the hell? That's a big yikes. That is a big yikes. Holy shit. God damn. And an Alakazam is your last month. 20 bucks! He psychics us and it kills us. Or, I don't think he gets power gym. I don't think he gets power gym. Dece I've been had. I've been actually had. Holy shit. That's just BM, dog. What the fuck? You didn't even have to do that. Catch this liquidation. Yo. Yeah. Catch that liquidation, dog. Bro, I was actually spooked for a second. What is the meaning of this? Give me that 15 G's, dog. So what did you think of the new and improved Faba, hmm? With my newfound charm, you'll see me make my comeback within the foundation. And for that, I will have to gain quite a bit of support behind me. A dubious disc. This is just a little token from me, so you won't forget the new Faba. Now watch as I work my way up the ladder of the Foundation once more. When I was reduced to this low-ranking position, I had a sudden revelation. I desperately longed for that title of respect. So didn't Lusamine, like, travel somewhere? And now homeboys travel to Kanto and Johto? That means, yo, we're gonna get, yo, remakes confirmed, Doug. Remakes confirmed, and we're gonna see Gladion in Kanto slash Johto. Ha ha ha! Which would be fitting, because Gladion's the edgiest thing we've had since Silver. You know, I, I, I long for the days that we had rivals like Silver, Doug. I don't know if all this dirt came from another world too, but this mansion sure is out of this world dirty. My battle starts now. Oh, I thought he was going to give us something. Never mind. Okay, so there's one other thing for us to check here at the Aether Foundation. And I believe it's down in the labs. And this is a new event, or a new little whatever, that they added for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And I think it's really cool, and it's very, uh... Oh, I didn't mean, did not mean to go there. 
Uh, it's it adds more plot. It adds more story. Or sub story, I should say. Sub plot. Oh no, Lucimine's right here, chilling. I'm Lucimine. I'm the President's Foundation. Now I pour my love. Yeah, whatever you want, girl. We need to go to the lab area. There we go. There we go. Because in the first game, Lily went to Kanto. I don't think she went to Kanto in this game. I don't remember our last interaction with Lily. Uh, wasn't our last interaction with Lily she gave us Solgaleo? Let me peep. Knock, knock. This may be a bit sudden coming for me, but I'd like you to have these. DNA splicers. Prison bottle. You're just a fucking artifact whore, aren't you? Soul do. Okay. They're all items related to Pokemon that Madame Lucimine hoped to meet someday. If you like, I can tell you what any of them does. No need. You can also view the explanations for any of them, but you know it comes from the desire to keep all of your beloved Pokemon beside you always. Using Pokemon moves to put them in cryogenic sleep is too much. The Pokemon who sleep now, I will keep them safe so that they can someday return to their previous state. Or you could just release them. That works too. Whatever you have in cryogenic sleep, I'm sure they can make it on their own. I'm sure they're hench enough to make it on their own, and, or else you wouldn't have them in cryogenic sleep. Hello? I was looking for something here. And it doesn't appear to be here. Is it because I never went to Pokepelago? Or Pokepelago? Is that it? Because Moan is supposed to be down here. My boy Moan is supposed to be down here. But we met him on Akala Island, but I never went to Pokepelago because there's no point. I did it in the first game and it, there's literally no point. Unless you're like shiny hunting and you're trying to get Lepa Berries or something, there's actually literally no point in it. So what's going on here, Doug? What's actually good oh well he will appear here but only after we complete a certain event which we haven't done yet mmm mmm see if you guys remember a couple episodes back I mentioned that um, like I reorganized the ending of our LP like the the process that I was gonna go through it and my original order I actually had this taken care of, but because I reorganized everything, now it's out of order. Hmm, interesting. Well, aside from that, spoiler alert, we're going to meet Moon. Uh, I think we're good. I think we've accomplished everything we need to here. So I'm going to fly back to Seafolk Village and wrap up today's episode right here. In the next episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of Ultra Beast hunting. So if you guys are hyped, and of course, we're going to show you support. Or if you guys are hyped and you enjoyed today's episode. And if you uh, want to show your support as a problem member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, your boy is Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!